Hello, everyone. Welcome on in. How's it going? It's time for more girls, girls, girls. Um, I'm holding a Miku plush. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, see Bunny because I feel like not good. Um, <laughs> so good with words. Um, we're finally doing. The name game, Real Reincarnation. So that's exciting. Um, we've done the digest before when we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, but now we know what's going on, sort of. There are four days, it's that day format, like the other games have. And there's only five endings, four if you exclude the one bad ending. So that will be interesting. Um, I think we'll probably just stick with doing the first two days after the prologue. And then next week we'll do the third and fourth day, get our first ending. And depending on how long that takes, we'll kind of determine how we get the other endings. But yeah. Exciting. That is the game plan. Quite actually, this game. The new game, obviously. Hmm. A sudden attack. I had a sense that something was off, but I couldn't put my finger on it. The city I saw shouldn't have been any different. It was the usual scenery, the path I was used to taking. But I wonder why. It seemed like something was missing. Then again, this wasn't the first time I felt this way. For the feeling to hit me while things were relatively peaceful was a strange thought, indeed. I don't know what the feeling is, but I'm sure that something's missing here. Despite not having any evidence to back it up, even though it was illogical, deep down, I was certain. Hmm. Sigh. What's the matter, Oni-chan? Why did you sigh out of the blue? I mean, he... It is the blue hair token character, so... <clears throat> huh? Uh, no. I was just wondering what to make for dinner. I tried to play it off as I plated our breakfast and put it on the dining table. Your worries are so innocent. What do you mean by that? You're you, Oni-chan. Wrong. That makes no sense. Not that it's a big deal or anything. No, oh, got it. But if you feel sick, be sure to rest, okay? Got it. Well, thanks for worrying about me. <laughs> I'm your dependable little sister, after all. No. Yes. I'm always depending on you, Moto-sama. <laughs> Leave it to me. Well, let's just eat breakfast. Come on, it's ready. All behold slug. Yes. I am the slug due to Peachy's decision. Hi. Okay. The best slug. Oh, thank you. Gotcha. Thanks for the meal. Hmm. Oni chan. Thank you for the meal. Cheeto is unwell. Whoa. Whoa, what are you doing, Kotori? Right back at you. It's not a big deal, my ass. You're totally zoned out. <sighs> Sorry. So, what happened? You're stressed about something. Just tell me about it. Hmm. I know you're just gonna think I'm crazy, but... Stop it with the disclaimers and just tell me already. No, well, there was someone besides me who used to make breakfast, right? Obviously, like mom and me. And the times when Toka and the others helped, even Maria cooked for us the other day. No, it's not that. It's not what I meant. I don't know who it is, but I feel like there was someone else who used to be in the kitchen a lot. Huh? You don't know who it is? Are you crazy? <laughs> I told you you'd think that. 
I never said I wouldn't, but what the hell? Is this some kind of scary story? No, it's just... I felt like someone was here. Hmm. When was this? Man, um, maybe before we went to summer break? Huh? What are you talking about? If it's that recently, there's no way that any of us would forget. I bet it's just some kind of fe summer fever dream. Hmm. You might be right. If you're really concerned about it, he could see a counselor. No, no, it's not that bad. I think I'm just out of it or something. I see. Well, if you say so, Shido. Anyways, let's have the dream talk here. If, if you keep hanging around, we'll be late. Right. Oh, you're right. I should hurry. Kotori's right. The only thing I have is this weird sense inside me that something's off. I'm sure it's just a continuation of my dream. But no matter how much I think that, once I acknowledge this feeling, the fog in my heart wouldn't go away. Hmm. What's the matter, Shido? You seem a little down. You clearly weren't focused in class. That must be because of Tosa Yatagami. You should disappear from Chida's surroundings immediately. Wow. What? Don't be a fool, Origami Tabichi. Hey, come on, you guys. Stop it. It's not a big deal. I was just thinking about a dream I had. Dream? What kind of dream? Hmm. I don't remember it in detail. I think it was a dream about an ordinary day. A dream about an ordinary day? So that means it's a dream of me being with you. That must be fun. Uh, that's not exactly it. But I guess it's not wrong either. Hanai, if you experience the same day every day, you'll lack necessary stimulation. Shido, you need a more intense life. You should come live with me. Origami, please. Wait, can you not say things that give people the wrong impression? It's not a wrong impression. I'm just going off of your desires. Can you not talk as if I'm some huge pervert? Hey, did you hear? It's Kakuna is forcing tobichi san to be perverted again. That's not all. He's also trying to spend the night with Tokachan as well. What a low life. Seriously, what a turn off. Goes against the ethics of modern youth. Stop putting the blame on me. Seriously, it never ends with you guys. Just cut it out. Look who's talking. The nerve. Every damn day. You have to watch you flirt. God, you walk, you pervert. Unforgivable. Seriously. Beyond forgiving. Yeah. Even if God forgives you, I won't. You stay out of this. Aww. <sighs> Took on Origami are at odds again. And our classmates are making a ruckus. The usual. I wonder if I feel like something is missing here because of my dream. Hmm, that person there. Yes, you know, Kaguya, Izuru, and even Miku. What an odd combination. Oh, Shido's son. Um, I was um, out shopping. Well, yes, you know, he handed me was the plastic bag full of fish. It seemed like there were all kinds of vibrant colors. It looked really chaotic. There were even some that looked like she fished them out of the deep sea. Where did she buy these? <laughs> you sure seem surprised, my slave. You're witnessing the true power that dwells inside of us. Um, so what are you trying to say? <laughs> are you sure you want to ask? You really want to know? Shido Kun, you're going to get super turned on here and what a bad girl Yoshida was today. 
Hello. No, she no. We were all shopping together, and because you we were so cute, the shop owner gave us a lot of freebies. Fair enough, I guess. Oh gosh, bad Miku-chan. You can't just give away the secret so easily. No, no, who cares? Darling would have figured it out immediately. Right, darling? Darling? Yeah. But that sure is a lot. If these were mostly freebies, I'm kind of worried about the store. Of course. It wasn't just Yoshino. Kaguya and Yuzuru were there, so it's only natural that the owner would give us freebies. I see. Wait, is that supposed to convince me? Um, Shida-san. Here. Oh, you're gonna give this to me? Knowing you, you make something delicious out of it. No, you're starting to sound like Toka. Uh, we should use the mother still fresh. Well, why don't we have this as dinner then? Let's all eat together. Yay! You're amazing, Shiro Kun. So generous. I'd be so happy to be with you and the others. I'll go no matter what. Oh, that's a great idea. Oh, holy... Oops. A holy supper from the deep ocean god. Clearly fit for me. Correction. Kaguya. There are rumor fish mixed in there as well. What? It, it was only a figure of speech. I didn't make a mistake, okay? Sadla. This just makes you that you couldn't differentiate between the types of fish here. <laughs> yeah, you did you. You know what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Anyways, I'm going to rush home. What do you guys want to do? Well, I'm going to stop by my place first. Let me see. Then I guess I can walk you home. No, oh, I know. Hey, Shirakun. Hmm, what is it? No, well, she visits so often. Do you think you could give Yoshino a spare key? Yoshino. Spare key, huh? Come to think of it, a spare key would... E -A -R -T. Mm -hmm. What was that? Chito-san. What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. Spare key, huh? I may have an extra, so I'll look for it, okay? <laughs> Amazing, Shido-kun! You're so understanding. So, sorry, Shido-san. No problem. I'll see you then. Yes. I'll visit later. Okay? Sure, I'll be waiting. Is something happening? I can sense it. There's something wrong with me today. And besides, what was that? Alright, I think I'm ready. I feel like I'm forgetting. Oh, that's right. Yoshino brought up the spare key. I think it's around this shelf. Huh? It's not here. I thought there was an extra one. Hmm, not here either. Then, is it in my room? When I got into the room, I had this feeling. That the spirit key would be in here. Come to think of it, it would be odd that a spirit key would be in my room. Because I'm always carrying my own key around. Well, no point in worrying about that now. Anyways, I'll try this drawer. There it is. A small bag at the back of the drawer. The design was clearly not something I chose. I was certain of it. But there would be a spirit key in here. Huh. Why did I think that? Not only that, but when did I even make a spare? Wait, Kochiri gave it to me. That's right. I just forgot. There's nothing weird about it. As I predicted, there was a key inside the bag. 
Just a key on its own. Not decorated. No key ring. Let's take good care of it. I definitely remembered something right now. A voice I don't recognize. But it felt so nostalgic. My voice was so soft. I squeezed the key tightly, and it made a dent on my palm. Along with the cold metal feeling of it, I also felt a pink pain go through my chest. It felt like all the power in my body was quickly leaving me. I kneeled slowly onto the floor. My heart was pounding. It was similar to something I remembered. I know. It was like when I used the spirit's power. Grunt. <laughs> I felt a sensation like everything was being dragged around me. Then I felt my consciousness being engulfed. I... Forever. Okay. Hmm. Fuckery is about. What is this? I feel really nostalgic. Oh, that's right. I've seen this before. The most important thing. Where is it? Huh? The most important thing? What I know? When I meet them? Meet them. Your... Wake up! Oni-chan! Rise and shine! Katsuri's foot hit me square on the gut. I had no choice but to roll over in my bed. <laughs> you hear that? What a funny sound. He's on all fours now. Katsuri, what the heck? There's some things you should do, and some things you shouldn't do. <laughs> my bad, Onijan. How can you be so casual about this? Ow. It's your fault for not waking up one time. Come on, breakfast, breakfast! No, that's right. Sorry, let me get it ready now. Kotori must be hungry. I have to hurry. Hmm? You don't need to get it ready. I mean, it's already ready. Huh? Already ready? Yeah, it was not a long time ago. Come on, dearie. Be a lamb and get ready in 40 seconds. What kind of grandma are you? Wait a minute. Are you going to tell me Kotori made breakfast? What's going on here? Well, I guess I'll start by changing. My little sister worked hard. I can't let the food go cold. Gosh, honey-chan, I said 40 seconds. No, no. I'm already eating now. Mouth's full of food, dear sister. It isn't good manners, so don't eat and talk at the same time. Good morning, Shido. I made toast, ham and eggs, and a salad for breakfast. Good morning, Maria. Ah, so you made breakfast today. Oh, I knew it. I mean, Kotori is the designated e eater. Nom nom. How rude, Nam chan. Who is that? I wish I could have helped you. It's fine. This isn't a big deal. Shido, you're like the master of the house. People from time to time can relish in doing nothing. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. You're welcome. It's touching to hear you say that much. Oh, Shido, please sit. Sure. I sat down, but it felt a little strange to see Maria standing in the kitchen. Is something the matter, Shido? No, nothing. That's right, Maria's often here in the kitchen, so it's not exactly an unusual scene. He served me breakfast while I was seated. The salad was full of vegetables and vibrant colors. There was even a bit of cereal in it, too. Cereal? In the... in the salad? Wow, oh, it looks so delicious. The dressing. Was this made from scratch? Yes, I made it myself. I'm sure you'll love it. Please, help yourself. 
Maria's homemade dressing tasted as though she used onion paste as a base. I think she cooked it so it wouldn't be too bitter. Just very mild and sweet. I bit into a piece of toast. Mm, delicious. It's so nice with a lot of butter on the toast. Delicious. This is delicious, Maria. You've long since surpassed me. Do you think so? I don't know myself. But if it is true, then I finally obtained the right to marry Yishido. Is that what this means? M -m marry Oh, that's right. You've always said that, huh? But because you can cook yourself, you don't need a wife. And that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> that's unfortunate. Guys. But seriously, Maria's definitely improved. She's cooked for us before, but... Why does it feel like I haven't eaten it in a while? You look like there's something on your mind. Is something the matter? No, nothing. I was just thinking about something. Thinking. Um, Shido, could it be? Huh. Gosh, it's rude to be lost in thought while eating on each other. <laughs> I'm not sure that's how that works, but okay, go three. N right, sorry. I'm sorry, Uppany. It seemed like Maria had something to say, but I wonder what it was. Well, I guess I can ask her after I send Kuturi off. Well, I'll be on my way then. You're still going to be here for a bit, right? Yeah, I'll leave after I clean up with Maria. I still have some time. Hmm, got it. Later. Later, Kotori. Be careful, okay? Hi. Got it. Maria, were you in the middle of saying something earlier? Shido. Shido. Do you not question why I'm here? Question why you're here? Why would I question why she's here? Maria's always been here. Wait. Do you remember when the last time was that I spoke to you? Yeah, you were an AI in our phone. Oh, yeah. Huh. Uh, that's right. I just spoke to Maria the other day. I met her in the virtual world and we spent time together. In the end, he got on my cell. So I was right. You remember the real time you spent with me. Yeah, I was a little confused a while ago, but I remember now. You and Marina. I met you two in the virtual world. Of course I wouldn't forget. I see. But clearly, we are in some abnormal condition. Abnormal. Yes. This world has been altered somehow. I don't even know if this is reality. Not reality. That's crazy. But thanks to Marina, Maria was able to come back. Shido, have you forgotten? How the management AI of the Proxness, normally in existence comprised of just data. However, I am here. I see. The only way I can communicate with you is in the virtual world. Why didn't I realize this? That's right. Maria's physical body only exists in that virtual reality. And does that mean we're in virtual reality again? No, that's not the case. Due to the damage the Fraxis had sustained, my little Shido too has completely stopped functioning. Well, this isn't virtual reality, but reality? You see, just really asked Kotori if she felt that it was odd to see me here. But Kotori answered quite naturally that I've been living here since last week. And that's when you realized this was odd. Exactly. I don't know how or why, but it's clear that everyone else besides you and me had their memories altered It may be an attack of some kind. Altering memories. Maybe in the virtual world. 
Well, is that possible in reality? No. The powers of spirits and the technology that follows it can be pretty mysterious. So I cannot say with certainty that it isn't possible. You have a point. Filtery being like that too must mean that everyone not to toast girl must be in the same situation inside the frog's nest. I cannot confirm it, but we can assume so. Even you, with your spirit powers, seem to be affected slightly. However, it seems I have not been affected at all. Is it because you're AI? I assume. Of course, this is all speculation. I see. In my memory, I feel like this world suddenly appeared. If you have memories from before, can you tell me what life was like then? I wonder what I was doing. Someone asked me to look for something. No matter how hard I thought, I felt like there was a haze in my brain that kept me from remembering. Sorry, I can't really remember. I suppose it's not that easy. There are currently too many unknowns. I think we should continue to observe for a little while longer. Alright, let's do that. I'll try my best to remember, too. <laughs> I'll be counting on you. But, I don't think we should act too suspicious. If we take into consideration the person who made this happen. The person who made this happen. Could it be a spirit? Or DM? Got it. I'll be careful. Yeah, you be careful too, alright? Of course. I am your Maria. You can't say that in front of people, okay? Why not? So you have something to hide? Um, I guess you'll give off the wrong impression. <laughs> I know. That's my way of joking. I'm sweating buckets here. Anyways, Maria. Why are you dressed in our school uniform? Don't tell me. You just noticed? Oh, well, um, sorry. Crap, did I upset Maria? Um, at a time like this, I... <laughs> oh boy, um... Yeah, looks good on you is the choice to pick here. Valid. Well, I know it may be late, but you look really good in our uniform, Maria. Really? Yeah, of course. It's very refreshing. I see. Thank you. And you weren't wearing a uniform in the virtual world. Yes. I didn't think I needed to. But now I'm happy I got to wear it. Cute. <laughs> nice. I'm glad we get to be here together, Maria. Shido, it's terrible how good you are with women. What? Did I say something really messed up? No. I recommend that you not say things like that. But I recommend that you not say things that would give the wrong impression. I didn't mean it that way. Then you must study more, shouldn't you? You're absolutely right. But perhaps we've spoken too much. Even if we wish to clarify the situation, we best that we hurry and go to school. You're right. Let's hurry and clean this up. We'll go together, Maria. Meow. What was the meow? I heard a notification, but... I... What was it? I didn't see it. Was it a new follow? I guess that's one outside of eating stream elements. Um... Hello! Did you just follow? If so, thank you so much for the follow. See, it's your first time chatting. Um, welcome on in. Go together, Maria. Hi. Okay. Hmm. 
Marie and I just left the house in our uniforms. And this feels so strange. To be able to walk to school with Maria like I did back then. Just as I thought that, Maria, who was swiftly walking in front of me, suddenly turned around. What's the matter, Shido? Oh, nothing in particular. Uh, how do I say this? You look like you're having fun, Maria. Oh, right. Maybe I wasn't too good of it. Considering our current situation, the truth that I'm not being careful enough. Sorry, Shido. Oh, no, no. I wasn't trying to criticize you, Maria. I think it's fine that you're like this. Really? Yeah, of course. I'm happier to see you acting natural, Maria. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Cute. Does it make you happy to go to school in your uniform? Yes, actually. Wearing this uniform, I feel like a real member of Ryzen High School. Which is right. In the virtual world, Maria wasn't wearing a uniform. Nobody ever questioned it, so she didn't have to wear it, but... I suppose I made a bit of a mistake. <laughs> you don't look like you'd think that at all. Uh, you got on. You're really sharp, Shido. Or maybe Marina's influence. I see. Maybe. Marina disappeared and left Maria behind. Unlike Maria, Marina was more teasing in the manner that she spoke. And people just call you Mixie? Is it okay if I call you Mixie as well? Yes, awesome. Well, welcome on in, Mixie. I hope you enjoy stream. And I proceed to fail to have thoughts. Yay. No. If Marina's here, does that mean maybe Marina's somewhere around too? I'm sure that Marina disappeared back then. But if it's this abnormal world, maybe. I keep getting split seconds of hope like that. And besides... Dots. Besides... Besides what? The words that came to mind spun around in my head. What was I thinking right now? Maria's here. Who was it that it would have been here too? Wait, besides that was... Shido, you stopped walking. Is something wrong? Oh, sorry, I... Shido! Shido! The moment that someone called for me from behind, I felt like I knew the voice. It sounded so familiar. I remember. No, I don't. I remember. No, I don't. For some reason, I had the sense that my memories and consciousness weren't matching up. Shido! Shido! This voice. Is this what it means when your mind goes blank? I was so detached that I was conscious of it. Of this soft voice. This kind eyes. She's... Rene? When I called out to her, she softly nodded in my arms. I felt myself hold onto her more tightly. If I squeezed too hard, would she just pass through me like a phantom? Are you really Renee? In response, I definitely felt her. A nostalgic feeling. Her warmth. <laughs> yeah. I'm Renee. Renee Sonogami. Shido. Shido! In the moment I acknowledged it, something inside me overflowed. The memories of early summer. Joy. Sorrow. Pain. Anger. All these emotions came over me. And eventually, one of them stood out over the rest. Rene Sonogami. A special person. My former childhood friend. We had a sad separation, and I wasn't supposed to be able to see her again. Or so I thought. I don't believe it. You're here, Rene. I'm thinking the exact same thing, Shido. I'm wondering, how could I be here? But there's another part of me that thinks none of it matters. Is that terrible of me? 
Not at all. I'm thinking the same thing. I'm so happy. You haven't changed at all, Shido. I back at you. In the same old Renee. <laughs> Maybe we're similar. We are childhood friends after all. Yeah. We're childhood friends. Oh, Renee! It's been a while. I was worried about you. Renee Ali chan welcome back. So it was today that you were coming back. Toka-chan, Kotori-chan, it's been a while. How have you guys been? Yeah, you have been really well. I think it's you. How about you, Renee Ali chan I guess I miss you guys so much. Oh, I'm gonna call Yoshino and the others. Right, good idea. I'll leave it up to you, Kotori. Kotori-chan, don't run so fast. It's dangerous. I'm fine. What's going on? Everyone is truly fine with Renee being here. Isn't this weird? She's the one who could answer that. Oh, she's the only one who could answer that, rather. I can read so good. Maria, you were here. I see how it is. You were here, huh? She's the one who ignored me. Being all lovey dovey with his girlfriend. No, um, Maria san? Are you upset? I'm not upset at all. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> she, she's not the Maria I know. Oh, sorry, Shido. I'm supposed to be living alone. I guess the setting is that I've been visiting my parents. I see. I got it now. When I came near me, it whispered into my ear. I felt like Maria was pouting even more next to me. But it must be my imagination. Or at least, I hope it is. Glances at her spray. Yeah, no, she's definitely pouting more. <laughs> hey, Shido, Rene, are you guys telling each other secrets? N not at all, Toka. We're talking about dinner tonight. That's right, Toka chan. It's been a while. So we're discussing what kind of special food we could prepare. I see. Her cooking is amazing, Rune. I'm getting excited. Hey, I brought them over. Rune san. Good morning. I hope you're back. Yo, -ho! it's been a while, Rune chan. <laughs> Rune. Finally, we returned from your journey of salvation. Thanks to your efforts. It seems as though the miasma of darkness has been lifted. Joy. I'm glad nothing happened. Kaguya and Yuzuru. Congratulations, Yunei-san. We miss you so much. Thanks, everyone. I'm happy to be back. And you could too. Wait, could this be? Is that what it means? I think so. Me too have memories of spending time with Kaguya-chan, Mizuru-chan, and Miku-san. Renee answered my mutterings. I think I'm especially happy because Renee has naturally fit in with the rest of the group. I know. Why don't we celebrate Renee's return? Oh, that's a nice idea, Tokusa. We should have a party or something with a buffet. Buffet? Hey, we don't have that much space. Then, why don't we do some panyaki? Then we can all gather around the pan and cook. I see. That seems doable. We all cook things we like and enjoy one another's presence. Oh, the banyaki! That's a great idea. Meat, fish, vegetables, 
We can cook anything, right? I'm very excited. That's true, but I don't know if you're supposed to just cook anything. No, I think it'll be fun for us to be together. We can all bring food in, kind of like a mystery pot. Of course, be sure to prepare things you can eat, okay? Oh, good idea. Let's do that. Well, it's not like we'll use the things they bring directly. It'll be fun. Oh, you guys are chatting too much. You better hurry or else. Katsuri's right. If we walk too slowly, we may miss homeroom. Alright, let's head out. I'm that way. Oh, I'm going to go home too. I'll see everyone later. Um, the party. I look forward to it too. Yeah, totally. I can't wait. Yoshinan is so excited. Yeah, Yoshino's uh, um, casual outfits are very cute. Very blue. Yeah, I'll see you later. Then let's go, everyone. To be late to the party would taint the Yamai name. Agreed. However, Sizura will be the first through the gate. Run, run, run. <laughs> Hey, hey, Yuzuru, wait a minute. Let's go, Toka, my cue. We must not allow Yuzuru to be first. Huh? Understood. Oh, you guys, don't leave me behind. My voice cracked out of there, god damn. Hey, you guys, don't... And there they go. Wait, Miku's heading that way too. Does that mean she's attending grades in high school like Maria? Uniform still seems to be her old one, though. I'm- I'm fine. I just- I don't have that range that Miku has. That's all. Well, she went ahead, so there's nothing I can do. Not this rate. We'll be a lot of people. And besides, we left early. We don't have to rush too much. I wonder if everyone was looking out. Did you say something? No, nothing. We should go too. Yeah. <laughs> Stare. Maria is staring at me. That's right. This is the only time you can check with Renee about what's going on without Toko and the others noticing. Renee. Can I ask you one thing? I don't know. What? You want to ask me about this, right? A world where there's no way I would exist. Is this place Eden? I gulped. She nailed it. I was about to ask that. Maria doesn't have a body. Renee, he should have disappeared. And a fake member can plant it in everyone's mind as if there's something to hide. I remember this twisted world. That summer, Renee activated this infinitely looping world, Eden. Unfortunately, there is no way this isn't related. It's a strange feeling. I know that we're inside Eden. And I recognize myself as Renee Sunagami. But I'm not the role of this world that I'm sure of. Mm. Interesting. You're not the ruler? Shido, you may not be able to believe me, but I have no powers right now. I can't create an ideal world for you, nor can I send you back. To put it frankly, I'm like an empty shell. I lost everything. And all that's left. Renee. Sorry, Shido. I can't do anything for you. I'm sure that all of this is my fault. Well, we don't know that. And besides, 
Don't say you can't do anything for me. Sido. Sido. I'm just happy you're by my side, Renee. I told you, didn't I? That we can start over. Maybe now's the time. <laughs> this time, it's a promise. Although, I don't know what might happen next. Arigato. Thanks, Shido. I'm <laughs> so happy. I gently took Renee's hand. I see. Renee Sonagami. I understand the situation. M Maria! I was seriously surprised. Maria had been standing between Renee and myself before we knew it. Nice to meet you. I'm Renee Sonagami. You must be. Renee Arisi san, right? Please call me Maria. Oh, okay. Well, can it be Maria chan? Yes, that's not a problem. Thanks. Um, the Maria chan in my memory is a half Japanese girl who lives overseas. And has come to do in homestay here. But that's not true, right? Maria looked at me for a split second. She must be checking to see if it's okay for her to say so. I looked her in the eyes and softly nodded. That would be the case. I'm an official intelligence partner of the Foxness. Although, I have a personality similar to that of a human. I'm not real. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for it to come out like that. I'm so sorry for saying something that could have hurt you. Yanisanagami, you're a kind person. That's not true at all. But someone who's even nicer taught me. Is it that person? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly who you think it is, Maria chan. I see. <laughs> um, who are you guys talking about? That's none of your... Well, it kind of is, huh? Right. I mean, it has something to do with you, but maybe not. <laughs> that makes me even more curious. Anyways, I cannot deduce the situation based on your conversation. The angel called Eden. Or someone with similar powers. Maybe the key to this phenomenon. You're right, Maria. That's very likely. I feel like it's similar to your case, but... No. I'm not for certain this isn't virtual reality. However... It is true that we are in an abnormal situation. In order to resolve it, we need more information. But what can we do to resolve it? I don't even know what that is. Not that it's a good enough reason to do nothing. But when you say gather information, what do you mean? First, we're going to have to live our normal lives. We need to see what's going on in the world, within a range that doesn't disturb our daily lives. I see. You have a point. It wouldn't be the first time we used this approach. There were hints about what was going on in our daily lives. Right. As we continue to live our lives here, we should be able to catch on to the intention behind all this. Someone may contact us with Maria. Right. I agree with Maria chan. I have a feeling you'll be the one who will find the answer, Shido. It's not a coincidence. I agree with you, Renee Sonagami. <laughs> it's you, huh, Maria chan? Oh, call me Rene, Maria chan. It feels too formal, you know? Understood. Then I'll call you Renee from now on. Okay. It's a pleasure, Maria-chan. The pleasure is mine, Renee. Seeing them call each other by name made me tear up a bit. The two who should have disappeared have met. Now can be friends. 
It really feels like a dream. Thoughts. Suddenly, I felt a pang of pain in my heart. If Eden is a fake world like the other one, someday it will disappear. Alright, we made it. Seems like we have plenty of time. Seems like it. I'm all sweaty because I ran. Sorry about that. I should have checked the time better. Yeah. Gosh, Shido. Shido. You have no sense of planning. That's no good. I think you're right. Shido looks serious. He's pretty careless at times. Hey, what's your guys' problem? You just know you well. That's all. That's right. We basically know the good and the bad. When you put it that way, you're making me blush. Oh, Shida san. You're quite late today. Not only that, but school just started. And you have two beautiful women on each side. You sure are a boy of your age. Hi to you too, Kurumi. Kurumi, why are you. What are you so surprised about? We're your classmates. Of course I'd be here. Oh, that's right. I recalled a memory from before. The Kurumi in Eden was a clone based in the shrine. It seems like the one trapping us now has a similar power to Eden, but it seems like it hasn't completely replicated what life was like before. This sure seems to be a low effort answer. It's because girls like you so easily. Yeah, she did this hurts my feelings. I think I'll cry. Sorry, I was just in a daze. To show you penitence. Nope, I don't know that word. Would you pat my head now? Of course not. I'll give people the wrong idea. But she deserves head pats, Shido. My my, how unfortunate. But Shido san, it's because Renee is back doesn't mean you should let your guard down. Yeah, penny tense or something like that. Right, thanks. Seems like Kurumi also recognizes Renee as my childhood friend. Got to think of it. Though my little Shido 2 game that Maria was managing. Kurumi was a classmate. Does that mean this environment's been replicated? I don't know. Come to think of it, where's Maria? Maria san? Maria -san? She's over there. It's like showing that you're sorry, sometimes using your religious context. Kurumi does like to use big words. She really does. I had a feeling that's kind of what it meant, but it's just like, hmm, I actually don't know this word. Or how to read it. But is it just penny net penny tense then? Or is it said differently? I don't know these big girl words that Kunimi knows. Pen e tense. Okay. Mild. Origami to Vichy. Is that true? I'm sure of it. That Rene Sonagami is a threat. With her return, there's a large chance that she does time and energy will be jeopardized. So it's not why to leave Rene Sonagami as is. Takuyatagami. You should also set up a trap. Yo. But, but, Rene is also a precious friend of mine. I can't betray her. Me too. Please stop. Jing that will only lower your dignity. What? Lower my dignity? Yes. Dismissing others in order to fulfill your own desires is not respectable in the general sense. People may even hate you because of it. What? Here. You set me up. 
You just offered the best idea in response to what they're asking. Whether or not you take action or not is up to you. You... I won't let you get away with this when it got me to Bichi. No, no. It's almost hyper class. Please stay calm. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. Maria was in the classroom as if it were completely normal. I was just having fun. Until now, I thought it would have been impossible. Why are you laughing all by yourself so early in the morning? It's kind of creepy. I bet you anything is to give a girl his abducted. We must report him to the place immediately. No, I was just laughing. For you to say that much about me is a bit messed up. It's how you live your daily life, you bastard. Toka-chan, Tobichi-san, Rune-chan, you and my sisters are next door, and now on Hope's Day, girl, you pervert, super pervert. What are you doing in my class anyway? What does... Blah, 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 blah. Why does our class have so many annoying people? <laughs> Shido, you're so popular. Yep, he is everyone's Shido. That sounds so wrong. Oh, really? <laughs> you knew what you were doing, Kurumi. Shido, we're in trouble. Toka and Horigami's argument is going off in a stupid tangent. At first it was about Rene, but now they're arguing over red paint paste. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I noticed. It's the usual, so don't let it bother you. I told Maria not to worry, and patted her head. Rather, her saying it's a stupid tangent is pretty messed up. Well, they really shouldn't be fighting. Hey, Tukachan. Tukachan. It's almost class time, so you need to sit down. You indeed hit enter too early. It's okay. Take two. Got it. I'll return to my seat soon. Grr. Sorry, Rene. I'll go back to my seat, too. <laughs> it's a wonder the argument didn't start with red bean paste, to be honest. Honestly, they probably would. Ugh. As long as you guys understand. Come on, Shido. You need to sit down, too. Got it. Man. It's comforting to have you around, Rene. Huh? Oh, um, it's not like I do much anyway. Takaya Tagami, you remember this well. This is how Renee's son got me out there. I see. So this is how you can get Shiro to praise you. Amazing. Renee is good. I don't know. That seems to be a weird way of putting things, but it's true. Just as Toka and Onigami say, she must be one powerful rival. I finally sense it. Maria, no. Hmm? Did you just say something, Maria? Nothing. I was just talking to myself. I see. Well, let's sit down then. Renee will bring down the hammer if we keep at it. You're right. Renee's here, and so is Maria. It should have been our first time together like this, but it feels so normal. It was as if this was the way it's always been. But something still feels strange in my heart. A world where the two are present must surely exist, but it's not real. Hi! Okay, everyone. Home Let's start home, home that feeling went away as the school bell rang, and Tomachan took her place at the front of the classroom. Oh boy. Um. Save. First save of the night.
Well, I guess we're overriding some saves from before. Oh well, I guess. Or, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of save slots actually. Wait, how many save slots are there? Okay, there's like a hundred save slots. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna overwrite those two then, but um because this save is just if I ever feel like coming back and being more completionist about things. It actually doesn't affect game stuff at all for like getting the other endings. Um so last save would be save slot 35, so I'll just save in 36 and 37. First, tell my aunt. Ah, oh, it's Kaku. Do you have a minute? Sure, Tom. I mean, Sensei. What is it? No, this is random. But do you think that Ishi san and Sonagami san are stressed about something? Maria and Renee. She had a point. Most of you had a lot on the plates. I'm sure their minds feel heavy. I have to play it off, though. Nah, uh, I didn't think so. Why do you think so? so hmm. If I were to put it into words, I have a hunch. A hunch. Yeah, call it a teacher's instinct. I see. Well, I'll be on my way. Hmm? I have another hunch. It's good. Could it be? Yes. Are you stressed about something too? Well, uh, <laughs> nothing in particular. Hmm. I see. Well, if you noticed anything about Sonagami san, Hinarashi san, be sure to tell me, okay? Okay, later, Sensei. Hi, okay, sayonara. goodbye! Hmm... It is just as I thought. Tama Chon is smarter than she lets on. She sure is reliable. Well, not where marriage is concerned. Okay. Um, and now... Tonomachi. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways. <sighs> huh. It's go, huh? Hey, you just sighed at me. That's so rude. Yeah, I sighed. I can't help <laughs> it. Let me sigh. Hey. What's with you all of a sudden? All of a sudden? This isn't all of a sudden. It's always. 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 Every single day, it's got. I think. Screw you. That isn't polite. Why is that? Yeah, it's so polite that it's impolite. You live with your friends, Tokachan and Tobichi, Takiyo-chan, Yuzuru-chan, Tokizaki-san, and Mikita-chan. Well, what's up with you? Why? Why? Just a while ago, you were just like me, totally and hopelessly unpopular. Okay. Damn it. Damn you, Itsuka. You told me we were friends. They'd become men together. That sounds gay. <laughs> Sorry, but you're a creep. 
Wow, I'm so cute. Hey, wait. Don't much him enough crying. What is his deal? <laughs> All right. Marina and Alice. After classes were finished for the day, I wrapped up my after-school duties. I have to cook dinner, so I guess I'll drop by the market before going home. Oh, but if Renee went before me, then we might have to double up on groceries. I could give her a call to check. She hung up. Hmm. I wonder if she's inside the market already. Hey, Shido. Shido. Renee, are you waiting for me? Sorry for keeping you. No, oh, don't worry about it. I decided to wait on my own. I figured we should go together. We were talking the whole time, so I wasn't bored at all. Talking? Was someone waiting with you? Ah. Ah. What? What? Shido. Shido. You're quite theatrical. No, oh, it's you, Maria. Were you the one talking with Renee? Hi. Yes, that was me. I was sharing information with her. Sharing information? I asked her what happened while I was gone. And I also asked about Renee. I see. You two sure got close. Renee doesn't know anything that's happened recently. Maria doesn't know Renee. I guess they'd have a lot to talk about. I feel a little emotional because I never thought there'd come a day where the two would be laughing with one another. I'm sensing a fatherly gaze from Shido. Yes, the girlies are talking. Hello, Relix. Welcome on in. How's it going? Huh? Yeah, it feels that way. Although, her eyes are meaty. Looks like you're seeing something far away. <laughs> the gaslighter and the computer virus. Yeah, and they're friends. N no, no. It's not like that. I just finished up, so let's hurry and go to the market. I'm unsatisfied with that answer, but sure. You also must consider the time required to prepare dinner. No, Shido. You have to hurry up and get ready to go home. Oh, hang on a bit. It feels like just the other day, but I'm already so nostalgic. Maria walked merrily in front of me and was happily looking around her. You look like you're having fun, Maria. Yes. I never imagined that I could walk through this town on my own two feet again. But don't do anything dangerous, okay? Her car's here, you know? You don't need to tell me that, Shido. You're so overprotective. <laughs> <laughs> the two are like brother and sister. Nene, <laughs> please take back that statement. Huh? I'm not a little sister to Shido. I will never be. Right, Shido? Mm, oh, yeah, I guess. Good to think of it. We had a similar conversation before. Remember she pouted because I didn't treat her like a girl? My little sister can be precious, but can never become a girlfriend. At least shouldn't. I see. Maria you want to become Shida's girlfriend, huh? Yes. She and I have already kissed. Hey, Maria-san. It's true. My first team can be misleading. <laughs> then I'm waiting for you, Maria-chan. Are you... 
No old me would have said that. Huh? But sorry. I can't get myself to say that right now. I want to be with Shido too. I want to be the most important person to him. Even if it's just a dream. Oh boy. The girlies are fighting. Her words felt like now's being driven inside me. I should have known about Renee's feelings. Now she's not good at expressing herself. Girlie, you didn't. Didn't you do an entire game where you trapped him in a dream? I mean, yeah. But she doesn't have her powers in this one, so. She can't do that again this time, unfortunately for her. So, I can't give him to you. No. Not to Toka-chan, to Bichi-san. No one. I don't want to give him up. That's how I feel. Maria being like, I computed smut scenarios involving this man. I mean... <laughs> I wonder why. Before, I used to think that as long as Shido was happy, I was fine. I really thought that. How weird. I feel like I'm not my usual self. You're not weird. Huh? Of course it's not weird. It's only natural you want to be with the person you love. That's what love is. Hmm. Well, good. Only two girls to the new girl at this time, probably. I mean... Maria-chan. Maria -chan. Yeah. You must be right. It has to be. I want to be by Shido's side. One for each arm. He has three arms? <laughs> I wonder why I wasn't able to say such a simple thing all this time. Why did it take me so long? <laughs> Maybe Maria gets a leg or something. Fair enough, I guess. One for each limb. Let's go. Renee. Now that you realized your feelings, you're now officially rivals, Renee. I won't lose to you or the others. Why does Maria need to be relegated or relegated to leg status. She looks like a feet girl. I... Meow, hello cat man, what timing. <laughs> How's it going? How was your stream earlier? I mostly looked the entire time, so I didn't really see how games went, but I hope you had a fun time in Dead Cells today. Yeah, I won't lose either. It was alright, had to close... Had some close ones, but you died too fast. Aw. Sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> I hope I read that previous line. Hmm. Uh. Sure. <laughs> the two looked at one another and started to laugh. The heavy air from earlier was gone, and it seems like they're back to their usual selves. Alright, well, let's head to the market. The girlies are fighting. A little. They're officially rivals, so... Well, lucky you, Peachy. We are going to be getting Renee's ending first. So...
<laughs> it makes sense. Renee is very peachy coated. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong, you two? Let's go, Renee. Sure, let's go. The passive aggression begins. Let's go. Hey, what's up with you guys? Did I say something? No. Come to think of it, I think you're almost out of soy sauce, Shido. No, you're right. I think we'll use a lot of it today. So I don't want you to buy two big ones. Tomato! Yes. If you want soy sauce, then we're going to have to go over there. We're not particular on brand. The light value seems cheaper. And we never see these girlies on the anime. Yup. Maria-chan, can I have you bring the cooking? It's a bit expensive, but Shido usually buys it. Is that true? Yeah, well, we do buy other brands from time to time, but I do often buy cooked man. I see. I'm sorry, Shido. I never had to think about this before. It's not like I'm particular, though. The taste of your dishes can change when you change the soy sauce brand, so I do like to change brands sometimes. <laughs> the most moy good boy male wife lad who just keeps getting put in situations. So true. Oh right, Maria's human now. She eats. Yeah, she has an actual physical body. She's not just in a program. I see. I was able to learn more things about you, Shido. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah, Maria chan You look at Shido's place, and you come to learn these things. Or if you cook. I can't read. Mira, when her stomach growls for the first time. My body's angry at me. Maybe. <laughs> I feel like I just lost hearing you tell me this, Renee. Gosh, it's not like that. The soy sauce is fine, so what's left? It may be good to purchase fruits, like tomato. Ugh, you have a point. I was trying to get tired of baking dessert. When we first entered the market, both Renee and Maria seemed to be in a bad mood. As we discussed what to make, things returned to normal. It seems like there's still a hint of rivalry. But that much is something my heart can handle, so I'm happy. A fruity vegetable would be tomato. It's often used as a dessert, too. Additionally, the color of the plant, like the uh, lycopene, has various health benefits. Fruity vegetable. Me, when I have no thoughts in my head. Well, that sounds good. Let's buy some tomatoes. Wait a minute. Peaches are on sale. What do you think? Although it may be a bit off season, it still looks really good. Well, look at that. I guess Peachy is also Renee's type. <laughs> <laughs> Peachy coded indeed. Yup. Peachy mention. Peaches, huh? It's true that we don't usually have them at home. You want to go with that? But as Renee stated earlier, peaches are in season during the summer. I'm gonna say that this time. There'll not be much flavor to them. Suggest tomatoes. Well, you have a point. It's probably on sale because it's off season. No, I'm not sure. I understand where Maria-chan is coming from. Yeah. I think Toka-chan would enjoy sweet peaches rather than tomatoes. You know, there are also plum tomatoes. You enjoy the sweetness as if it's a fruit. Never heard of plum tomatoes. Now I'm intrigued. But a plum tomato is pretty pricey, right? I don't think there's a need to buy something so expensive. 
She d o n t wish to try new things, so you don't see a problem with it. I don't think it's ever had a plum to m a t e of her. Right, she don't. Yes, that's true, but it's not like I want to force myself to eat it. I sense a sharp gaze. Well, I guess it's worth trying. Right, I knew you'd say that, Shida. But Shida is also very cool, o Look, Shida. This is half the usual price. It's a good deal. It's true, maybe a good deal. But you don't have to be so g u n k o over the peaches. Hmm? I sense a strong sense of pressure from Renee. I guess when it's is on sale, it'd be a shame not to buy you. Right? I mean, you're a good shopper like I am, Shido. Why does it feel so cold suddenly? Hey, you two. It's not like it has to be either or, so why don't we buy both? Both of them. <laughs> I like that there was a peach on screen and Peachy is nowhere to be seen. Shameful. We finished grocery shopping and headed home. Rhea and Renee had two bags and I had four. I ended up buying a lot of things. Damn. But we sure bought a lot. Can we eat all of this? Well, you have a lot of big eaters, so I'm sure we'll be fine. If you're worried, do you want to call t o n a m a c h i o k u n over? <laughs> no thanks. No, we don't have to call him. If we did, he'd be really annoying. <laughs> if he heard that, he'd cry. Let him cry. Well, if we have any leftover ingredients, we can think of the menu for tomorrow. Then, I'll think of the ultimate recipe. So as I can consider a variety of choices, so that I can be ready for any ingredients to be left. Now let me help. Let's think about it together. Right, if you're with me, I'll feel more at ease. Seems like I don't need to be here. Probably not. I agree. Damn. You guys don't have to be that direct. It's as if I'm in the way. Sometimes these two are competing, and other times they're close. I feel like it's an otter than Toka's and Nordegami's relationship. Well, Emery, c h a n and I are here. And you have to worry about cooking. Yes, you can prepare an even more delicious meal than you, Shido. Well, that may be true, but I'm starting to lose my position. <laughs> Now don't look like a lost puppy, Shido. I'm not saying this to be mean. You see, when you were playing earlier, r e a n Chan and I were talking, so we decided that we were going to help you. Help me? Yes, assistance to live in this world, Shido. You have the tendency to ball up everything on your own. We can't get you out of this world currently, but that's more of a reason that I want to do everything I can. Guys, other than us, no one else has realized that something is off. So you can rely on us more. Yeah. It's painful for us to see you always getting stressed out. No, thanks. I'll depend on you guys when the time comes. With that, I started to walk faster. Shido, what's the matter? Maybe he felt a bit embarrassed. Rene's voice from behind wasn't off. I was a bit shy about it. But something else was on my mind. I v e n t e d Eden once. Same goes for Maria's virtual reality world. In this dream, the fake scenery of not reality. Is this a dream that I have to wake up from? Rene said before that we should feel happiness in this world. The me of the past would have immediately said, that's wrong. But now, there's a side of me that doesn't think that way anymore. 
I certainly think that there may be another way. I'm gonna keep this to myself. I'm not ready yet. I had some free time, so I went to my room. Renee and Maria had just finished preparing dinner. It was the first time I've been in my room since I felt blah 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 since I left this morning. Before that phenomenon happened, I would have been in my room. I knew it. I was thinking about that moment from this morning. As I opened my desk door, there was a small bag inside. This was the key that Kochida gave me, saying I could give it to someone. Or it should have been. Well, I guess that's what it was for. Or else this place wouldn't exist, but... I remembered. Though this world was recreated. I met Maria. And seeing Renee, I remembered. This key was what Renee had forgotten. The one thing that I gave Renee. Proof of us being family. I wonder if Renee remembers her last conversation. We decided that we were going to start over together, but then Renee disappeared, along with Eden. This is something I need to give Renee once more. Oh, is this something I need to give to Renee once more? Well, this may be something incredibly cruel. What do I want to do? I don't think it's okay to remain in this world. But at the same time, there's a part of me that cherishes my days with Renee and Maria, so I... Hey, Lenny chan Everyone's ready. Okay, sorry. I'll be over right away. I shut my drawer and headed to the living room. Yoshino chan, you're as cute as always. What day of the week are you the cutest? Should I answer? Instruction. Master Origami said so too. There's no moment where you are not cute. A woman will always become cute for the person they love. Well, Origami-chan is so cool. Yes, you know. You should be up front too. What? What should I do? They got you? I see you. So this is the great black shield that shall bring forth the ultimate heat. Soon, the offerings will be sacrificed. Then, why don't we try putting Kagi on to the top of the board? please play as Kagi on. Okay, but wait, 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 Maria's outfit? Hello? Hello, that's adorable. Leave it to me. But wait a minute, I never said I'd be the offering. If that's the case, please go over there and hang out with the I can't pour the oil on the plate. G got it. <laughs> I shall silently wait for tonight's supper. Hey Maria, I'll tie this up and take it outside. Feel free to do so. Why? <laughs> <Fuck you. laughs> it's so lively in here. Hey Naomi chan, you want more plates? <laughs> it really is. Oh, I think I'm good on the plates. We put any more. Won't be too crowded. We can always replace the used plates later. Her fit is also adorable. That seems better, considering the amount of people. Mm, are there this many people? This is pretty crazy. How long are there boring people here? We also have origami and kurumi as well. Something feels off, but... Oh. Hey, Kotori. What happened to Reine-san? She usually drops by on days like this. Oh, Reine! She said that since origami's here, she thought it best not to come. Nah, makes sense. Unfortunately, since Reine-san is school faculty, origami would understand what's going on. 
It would be difficult for Rene to come over. Shido! Shido! There's so much food and so many people. This is great! Yeah, this may be a first. But don't forget that this is a celebration of Rene's return, okay? Toka, you were the one that brought it out. Yeah, I know. It looks like we can eat a lot of yummy food. Toka, were you really listening to me? We're all ready, Ami Jan. Now you do the toast of the master of the house. Okay, okay, got it. Leave the rest to me. Well, I'm not the master of the house or anything. But Rene, would you say something before I do my toast? What? Me? Who else? We're all gathered here for you. Um, well, then... Everyone, thanks for gathering for my sake. I'd love to actually become friends with you all this time around. Renee's words made me stop breathing. Those words seemed really cool for Renee. It's as if she were saying that her connection with everyone was fake. I looked over at Maria and her eyes met. Maria smiled as if she were troubled. I knew we couldn't help it. We were the only ones who knew. Hmm? Why are you talking about Rene? We're already friends, aren't we? Oh, you're right. Thanks, Tokachan. Well, it's a pleasure, Yeah. You're an obstacle I must overcome. You can't just sleep for no reason. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Always taking care of me. Your name is Sung. Your name is Sung. It's a pleasure. Your name is Sung. It's a pleasure. When you're here, the people surrounding Shida Sung become more interesting. It's truly entertaining. Kurumi really just said, I'm here for the free entertainment, that's all. We seem to lack the mindset of a proper slave. You cannot escape me even if you wanted to. I can't believe you haven't realized that yet. Declaration. Yuzuru and Kaguya both see you as a dear friend. Yune-san, we've been friends from the moment we met. You're such an adorable girl. It would be nice if you would also speak to me casually, Renee. Everyone, thank you so much. I'm so happy. I think everyone's response is their honest feelings. Seeing everyone today makes me feel happy that way. Or makes me feel that way. Why did I add happy? I'm... Alright, then let's do this. Cheers! Bye. Just like that, we cast away the sentimental vibe and started our party. Yes. All right, let's cook some meat next. Of course. Doka san, it's not good to only eat meat. You need to have a balanced meal. Doka yatagami is eating too much meat. I must say, she'll definitely turn into a pig. A pig? That can't be. Hey, wait a minute. Origami Tobichi, this is beef. Who wouldn't turn me into a pig, right? I'll turn you into a cow, Toka. Pick your poison. I can't even talk to you. My, my. Looks like she's drained the poison. Yachina-chan, Gochiri-chan, I cooked this! Yay, me! Thank you. No, no. This is really delicious. I would say this suits me very well. Clarification. Is that a joke? <laughs> Joke. What are you talking about? Oh, th that's not it. That was totally a coincidence. I'm 
I'm so confused. But okay. Maybe something got lost in translation. Ryla. Kaguya, your sense is disappointing. Yeah. I told you it wasn't intentional. I thought it would be more chaotic. But it seems like everyone's doing well with each other. Chino, are you eating? Yeah. What about you, Rene? You're the guest of honor today, but you're working too hard. Don't worry about me. I like doing this. I'm more than anything. I'm just glad everyone's having a good time. Yeah, I'm surprised. Maybe everyone's doing this for my sake. Hmm? What do you mean? Normally, Toka-chan and Tobichi-san walk around to you immediately, right? But today, I wasn't like that. Oh, I see. Well, let's switch, Rene. Huh? What do you mean? Go mingle with everyone. You want to be their friend, right? Okay. Looks like you up on your offer. Can you take over, Shida? Leave it to us. I'll help you too. That's fine, but don't answer for me. Thanks, you too. I'll I'm the governor. I'm gonna go hang out with everyone then. Alright, then. Have fun. Shido, you're so kind. Where's that coming from? You're making me blush. But you totally don't understand it from this part. What are you talking about? Nothing. Let's take over Renee's position and do it well. I nodded and started to move. Renee seemed to be talking with Toka and the girls already. Cute. I see. Toka-chan, you want to improve your cooking skills too? Of course! That way I can make delicious things, and I can cook for Shido, right? Right, if you're serious, then I'll help you, okay? You're nice on a gun. If that's the case, you may enjoy it. I don't mind, but why? It's important to grab someone by the stomach. Besides, to be quite honest, the idea of letting Toka get the stomach get there before me rubs the wrong way. <laughs> what did you say? You always just say what you want, don't you? That's a personal opinion. You have no right to tell me I can't do this way. Hey, Toka-chan, Tobichi-san, please calm down. Rene is talk blah, 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 blah. Rene is trying way more than before. Sinker talk to them made me smile. Shido. He seem happy. Huh? <laughs> Do I really? Hi. Yes. I see that staring at girls from afar makes you feel like that. But the way you put it is, I can't tell if she's doing it on purpose or if she's just oblivious like that. I gave a big sigh before going back to washing the dishes. <laughs> it was worth all of this just to see everyone have so much fun. Even Renee and Maria looked like they were enjoying themselves. But it can't be like this forever. There's so many things we need to think about. Maybe I'll go for a walk. Come to think of it, when I first met her, it was around this time. Not much time had passed since then, but Maria is here with me now. That's why it reminds me of her. Marina, the girl who left Mira behind and disappeared. While I was remembering my time in the virtual world, I realized I arrived at Takadai Park. It's late. Of course there's no one else around but me. I was only planning to take a stroll around the block, I ended up walking further than I thought. If I take too long getting back, it might make Rene and Maria worry. I should hurry up and go home. Should I run? No, I don't have to do that much. We just speed walk. Just then, I heard footsteps, 
Even though the park was supposedly empty. I had hopes. But considering that we were in Eden, I figured it might be a possibility. Hmm. Huh? Huh? But when I turned around toward the voice I heard, the person that was there was... An unfamiliar girl, looking bewildered and innocent. Teeny. A girl? At a time like this? I couldn't explain it, but she had an undeniable presence. She seems a bit familiar. Papa, what is this girl talking about? Papa. You're Papa, right? Wait a minute. I'm Shido Itsuka. I'm a high school student. It's too soon for me to have a child your age. Shido Itsuka? That's right. I'm not your Papa. So you are Papa. You're Papa, right? Is she pulling a chibi Usa? She doesn't get it at all. No. Ryo gets it. Shido Itsuka is my papa. Ryo's papa's name. Me? Papa? What does that mean? Papa is papa, right? No. So what papa is? Oh. Ryo has to go soon. So I'll let you know. If I ever want to be happy, you have to find the most important thing. Huh? What do you mean, the most important thing? Huh? I'll be off. Bye bye, Papa. Bye bye, Papa. Uh, who are you? Ryo is. Ryo. Ryo Sanagami. <laughs> now for the game entirely of who is Rio's mama? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Renee got it, <laughs> a girl. <laughs> a girl at a time like this is one of the quotes ever. So true. Rio, did you say Sonagami? Like Renee? Bye. I was dumbfounded by this sudden turn of events, and this girl named Rio ran off somewhere. M wait a minute! Rio! Rio! I rushed after her, but just as I thought, she didn't respond. Who was she? Rio! Rio Sonagami! Are we sure Renee's powers are sealed? Renee doesn't have her powers. This is what happens when you miss the beginning of the game, you don't know what's happening. Her aura was like a spirit, or her name. Ryo Sonagami. Her last name was the same as Renee's. So is she related to Renee in some way? Come to think of it, she does resemble Renee a bit. More of her spirit form, but... <clears throat> but she called me Papa. Who was she? Aww. Aww. Look at you. So plum. Like your happiness just escaped you. Look, I'm just saying Renee could have deluded up a child. <laughs> but Renee doesn't have her powers. She can't do jack and fucking shit. Huh? Why are you so dumbfounded? You forgot about me? Can we talk about your outfit because it's really fucking cute, please? Marina? Marina, you're in this world too? Yes. I thought I disappeared, but apparently not. My existence here is an undeniable fact. Unfortunately for you, you can't get rid of someone that gets in. Don't be like that. I'm so glad to see you again. Hey, let go of me. I don't like this about you. Oh, sorry. I couldn't help it. 
Don't you start with me. Gosh, you're so oblivious to what you're doing. Someday you'll get arrested. <sighs> I got that a little bit. Especially from the I Mind You trio. What? So you're happy to see me? Yeah, I'm happy. That is annoying. <laughs> what? Until I talk to you, you were completely in a daze. And now here you are, looking all serious and saying these things to me. Well, um, I don't have any excuses, but... Well, I don't blame you. You met such an adorable girl, right, Papa? <laughs> Rina, you saw? Well, yeah, I was watching the whole thing. Besides, I know her more than you. How do you know so much? Hmm. I wonder. You know what? Wait, before we go there, can you tell me who she is? Hmm. Well, she's looking for something. She said so herself, didn't she? Uh, she did. She said it was the most important thing, right? Yes, that's right. But I can't say any more than that. Marina, do you know something about this world? Hmm, I do. Well, I more than you do. Of course, I'm not the type of girl who'll just give it up when you ask. That'd be too easy. She hasn't changed a bit. But I found her way of speaking nostalgic in a way. Well, then I'm not gonna ask you now. What do you plan on doing from here? Atashi? Me? Yeah, it's not like you're going to come to Maria's, right? So hmm. I decided to help her. Help Rio? So That's right. You can't just leave her be. I feel like I'm watching over a little sister. She's such a good girl, unlike Maria. I see. Isn't that nice? Huh? What? What are you talking about? I'm just helping her because I'm bored. Mm -hmm. Sure. Gosh, you really are something. Soon that I... Well, I'll be on my way. I'm sure he is waiting for me. And you have to go home too, don't you? Yeah, well, can I say one thing before we leave? What is it? If you ask me anything suspicious, I'll report you to the police. That outfit is cute. I've never seen you in normal clothes, so it's really new to me. Her outfit also caught my attention, so that's so based on you, Shido. What? Are you an idiot? Yes, yes he is. That hurts. Don't throw rocks at me. <laughs> Shut up. Gosh. Can you compliment me like that? Then what? Why didn't you compliment me in the beginning? Can you call yourself a ladies' man? I don't remember becoming one. Sorry. Just messed up with Maria by talking about her clothes. Maria? Damn, you're getting her name wrong too, buddy. Gosh. I'm sorry to feel. Whatever. Later, Shida Itsuka. Yeah, later, Marina. Marina should have disappeared, but I was able to see her again. And I have a feeling I'll see her again sometime soon. She did say later. In the end, there's so many things I can't figure out. In fact, I feel like even more mysteries are piling on. But I did learn one thing. Marina changed. Marina is... Probably the same Marina before she disappeared. She hasn't forgotten the kindness of saving her little sister. That made me happy. Shido. Welcome home, Shido. You're pretty late. Did you walk for it? I mean, I see through everything. Yeah. I started to walk. <laughs> Whatever. Yawns. Okay. 
Yeah, I started to walk and lost track of time. I should keep meeting with Ryo Barina, secret for now. I still don't know what's going on as it is. I don't want to worry Rene even more. What's the matter? Did something happen? No, nothing. I was just thinking. Wait, about this world? No, no, it's seriously not a big deal. Are you sure? You shouldn't think too hard on your own, okay? I'll always be here to listen to you. Yeah, I know. So where are Toka and the others? We were chatting till pretty late. But they just went back to their houses. Kotobe chan and the others took a bath and went to bed. So wait, they're in another world? Maybe... They're kind of like... They're in... They're either in Eden or something like Eden. Like in the first game when Rene was like in control. No, no one fully knows what's going on, but uh, it seems like Marina knows the most. But even then, she also said that she doesn't know everything, so... Shrugs. <laughs> I see. Thanks for taking care of everyone, Renee. No problem at all. I'm going to go home now. Okay, got it, Renee. Good night. Oh, so they got thrown into another this is not reality type of situation. Yeah. So far, only Renee, Maria, and Marina, and Rio, I guess, but um, no, well, also Shido, know that they're not in reality. Like, they're the only ones actually aware of the situation, which is why everything is kind of hush hush. So. Yay. Yeah, good night, Shido. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. In this world, the new Eden. What is it for? The same world Renee created, but it's not by Renee. Maria and Marina are here too. This shouldn't be happening. Maria. I wonder if that girl knows the secret to this world. There's no proof, but... And the most important thing... What could it be? Does it pertain to me? Or her? I don't even know where to start. If it's something important for me. Then I thought about the little back. I thought I saw it recently. It can't be. I shouldn't think too much. I'll sleep it off, clear my head, and try again in the morning. And then I closed my eyes. <sighs> my original plan was to do the first and second day today. But I'm not feeling super great, I'll be fucking honest. So I think I'll just save here and then we'll do more next time. Sleep bun, yeah. Wait. Just wait. Well, um, this is very interesting. I like that it's interesting how they're getting everyone all together. Her plot. Like, I already knew this was gonna happen from looking at the guide, um, but it is very interesting. And then this is Rio on the screen. Yay, we know who this is now. Yay, the small. Um, yeah, I, I am interested to see how things get resolved. Rio reincarnation, so we're reviving someone. Or... Or, Rio's the reincarnation of something. Who knows? Oh, thank you for your contribution to the challenge. When does the challenge end again? Seven days in a week? And it's only 61% raise. Yeah, you guys aren't hitting that goal. <laughs> it's okay, though. 
it'll be interesting to see like how far you guys get because i'm curious um oh yeah the bgm here's the bgm yay but um yeah I i'm curious to see how the plot goes i hope you guys are also intrigued all that good stuff um Plot these... Plot these nuts? I don't know. I mean, I guess... I don't know. <laughs> Big slug, yes. It's been a while since I last had the chance to raid them. They're currently playing Rain World. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm sorry it was on the shorter side. Health go burr. Um, have blah blah, no thoughts, head empty. Um, hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better tomorrow, we'll see. Um, Tomorrow's more naps than usual. Schedule's already up on the Discord and all my blue sky. All that fun stuff. Pet, 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 yay. Um, yeah, I catch you guys next time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, bye bye.